I am with it. I wrestle with God. I speak to Jesus and I congress with the Holy Spirit. The entire world to be blessed and stay phenomenal. I want to let you know something. The devil is dead. God has sent men and women just like you and like me who have faith to know the devil is dead. People like you and people like me are not afraid to eradicate all evil. We look evil in the eye and evil shudders. The devil runs from me as pigs flee off of a cliff. The devil runs from you because you are covered by God. You have the countenance of the Holy Spirit on you and in you. And every word you speak, it bursts the devil's eardrums. So those who doubt and have fear, remember the Bible says 365 times, fear not. Remember and think on this, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, even that old serpent, the devil. Think about it. Jesus has already gone to hell and destroyed hell and has grabbed the keys to hell and has bound Satan and his demon. God created all things. God created the devil. So what makes you think you don't have more power that you are not potent than the devil? Ha! You are more potent than the devil. You are more powerful than any creation on this earth. God has given you dominion over this land. God has given you the dominion. God has given you the capacity to spread and be fruitful and multiply. No other species can do the things that we do, seen or unseen, because God seeks a relationship with you. The devil had a relationship with God and he blew it. God gave us more power. God gave us spiritual capacity and God has given us earthly capacity to do things. The devil's the prince of the air. That's nothing because the Holy Spirit, God, the air I breathe is God. It is the breath of the Holy Spirit. So the devil is the prince of nothing while God rules all and you shall be utilized as that vessel for God to eradicate all evil. You should be able to look evil in the eye and destroy evil. I don't care who you are. If you are evil, God shall pull it out of you by people like me. Evil shall flee. Evil shall turn this off. Evil shall have this remain in their brain after they turn it off. When you have spoken the words of God to evil, evil shall always curtail Evil shall always be obliterated. Evil cannot withstand God. And you have God in you because you were made in the image and in the likeness of God. And you have not been stripped. Satan has been stripped. You spell devil backwards. You have the word lived. And we serve a living God now, don't we? You keep your power. You keep your spirit. You keep your living word. Every time evil shall approach you, it shall cause you no harm. All it shall do is approach. Remember, you shall go about and do greater works than what Jesus has done. And Jesus has bound the devil already. So you have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear. You are closer to God than any other generation that has ever walked this planet. Yes, you are. And this is why you go through the turmoil. This is why you can't rest at night because God has placed assignments in your heart and you are not the only one that just cannot sleep at night. There are nights I can't sleep because God has put it in me and the Holy Spirit keeps turning about inside of me. And I'm going to speak that word and I'm going to let evil know that you are nothing. You are dead. And I live because I serve the living God. All of humanity belongs to God. All animals belong to God. The fowls in the air, the creatures that roam the earth, the fish and all the amphibious life of the waters and everything inside of the earth 
God rules all. Never forget it. Hold your faith. And yes, I am passionate because I have the compassion of Christ. So I am with passion. I am not just passionate. I am with it. I wrestle with God. I speak to Jesus and I congress with the Holy Spirit. Join me. Join us. Join us and speak that word. Join us and be filled with that fire and vapor and smoke that the Holy Spirit, that God, that Jesus has spoke of. You keep in mind, those beasts serve God. They do. And what? God has given you dominion. Not dominance, but dominion. So own it, live it, and know the devil is nothing but dead. The devil is a rumor. That's all the devil is, is a rumor because he is not here anymore. God is here in you. Jesus is here in you. The Holy Spirit is here in you. Understand that and live with it. God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. God is good. Let us say a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our Savior, by way of the grace and the mercy and the power of the Holy Spirit, and we thank you, God. We celebrate you every single day, Father, because you are our creator. You have given us everything that we've ever asked for, and Father, we ask for more right here on this social media platform because this now, God, is your center this social media platform is your outlet, Father, and we shall fulfill your works and your living word here on social media, Father. We should go about and be fruitful and multiply, Father, and reach the nation and reach the masses with positivity, Father. Lord, there's a lot of negative influences out there in society, Father, but we here as your race, God's race, host to the Lord of hosts, will do our part in obliterating the negative energy that fills this world, Father. We thank you. We thank you, God, for the skill set that you have given us, Father. And we will utilize it because we are the living word. We are one race, God's race, the human race. And we shall collectively stay bounded to your word, God, and your will and your method. By the name of Jesus Christ, in that we pray by the grace and the mercy of the power of the Holy Spirit in that we live. Amen. God, we love you and recognize you. Indeed. God is with you. Plan strategically for your life. Our life was strategically planned for you. Listen to God. That is how you strategically plan for your life.